the neat thing about a closed loop system is that the closed loop system can kind of regulate engine temperature better than an open loop system. I'll, I'll tell you pluses and minuses for both. Um, with a closed loop system, they have a pretty consistent, uh, pretty consistent operating temp engine operating temperature. So the engine, so the ECU is not being thrown any curveballs. Um, it's not being shocked with a cold patch or you know the cold side of an island or if you're out in the ocean. Uh, I mean, holy cow! Um, that and you're you're effectively never going to run the engine dry. Uh, you know, a lot of guys who rate race or ride heavy in the surf and they're wringing it out. Suddenly they're purging all the air out of the system. And here's the other thing is that engine cooling circuits can get air pockets. Yamahas and Cowies can get air pockets. Um, <clears throat> the other half of it is that it's saving Rotax some issues with uh marine treatments they're not having to marine treat as much um because the coolant isn't salt water so the engine coolant stays a pretty uniform temperature it's not full of contaminants there's no air pockets because it's a closed system and it's got a purge and there's no you know pockets of air in a weird corner or something like that you don't have to burp it um, but the other half of it is that, uh, closed loop system, you're not changing your ride plate. And that has hindered a lot of aftermarket manufacturers when it comes to, man, this ski needs a ride plate. We can make these changes if we just could put a ride plate on it and they can't. The other thing is, is that you're kind of at the mercy of, how well of a heat extractor that CDU closed loop ride plate is because the circuit actually goes through the ride plate, runs through the ride plate, and it lets the ambient water extract the heat out of the ride plate. So, like, literally, you could put your hand, I mean, if you if you could physically do it, put your hand underneath and touch the ride plate while you're riding, it'd be warm, in theory. Um I see the benefit of the closed loop system. I see the cost savings of the of the cl closed loop system. Um, I see the longevity, engine longevity benefits of a closed loop system. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't modify your CDU into an open loop system because for what purpose? If you're trying to get colder outside ocean water pumping through the engine. Okay, that's great. Here's a question. Has the cooling circuits inside of that Rotex engine been marinized? Has it been treated for salt anti-corrosive saltwater treatment? No, it hasn't. A lot of guys don't think about that. They just don't consider it. Um I mean salt away, yeah, you can run salt away through the, you know, through that. Okay, fine. But your Cowie and your sea has been treated. The inside of that engine has been treated. It's a bake, baking process. Um, so that's really my biggest concern is corrosion and longevity. We want to keep you on the water as long as possible. Does that make sense? Hey, guys. Thanks for hanging out. This clip was taken from our weekly podcast that we record here every Sunday night at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you want to watch the whole video, you can go to the Watercraft Journal's YouTube channel, go to Playlists, and then click on Live Sessions. You're going to see it there. Otherwise, go ahead and leave a like, a comment, and definitely subscribe to the channel. It helps us grow. And again, thanks again for watching our videos, and we hope to see you soon.